On Wednesday, November 1st, Akron hosted Marshall on a rainy night. Marshall entered the match having lost three of their last five games. This is the tenth time in program history these teams have met, and going into the match, Akron held a 6-1-2 series advantage. The last meeting between the schools was in October of 2004. The first half of the game started off slowly. Nate Schultz attempted to give Akron the lead with a shot that went high of the net. Again, Schultz attempted a shot, which was stopped by Marshall goalkeeper, Nate Hines. The Thundering Herd came back with their own attempt at scoring, but it was stopped by Akron's goalkeeper. Pedro Dolabella of Marshall tried to score with a shot that went to the left of the net, and again Dolabella tried with a shot stopped before reaching the net. This back and forth defensive battle between Akron and Marshall continued throughout the first half with Akron ending, leading Marshall in first half shots 6-5. The first shot on goal was recorded when Zip Sky Harder shot at the net when time expired in the first half. The rain picked up in the second half along with both of the teams. The Thundering Herd opened the second half with two back-to-back -back shots. Akron responded quickly to Marshall with three consecutive shots of their own. In the 63rd minute, Akron attempted three shots, all of which were blocked by Marshall's goalkeeper, leaving Akron unable to capitalize on the opportunity. In the 66th minute, Gameford was tackled, which allowed a penalty kick to be set up for Akron. Holt Hewson stepped up to the line and delivered Akron's first goal of the night, and his sixth goal of the season. In the 75th minute, the Zips attempted a header, which was saved by Himes. In the 81st minute, Egbo passed the ball to Harder, which led to a goal, giving the Akron Zips a 2-0 lead. The Zips held on to their 2-0 lead and defeated Marshall. Here is head coach Jared Embrick with his thoughts on the game. Coach, did you make all these games today's win? Yeah, I don't know. I think we started the game as well as we wanted to. The first half, we were, uh, I don't know what to say, we moved the ball pretty slow, a little too individualistic. Uh, didn't work hard enough defensively to press. Um, just looked a little lackadaisical or overconfident. I think the second half, you know, we were much better. More purpose, you know, a lot more drive to our game. You know, I think that shows in the stats with, with shots and corner kicks. And, you know, then eventually they were going to have to, um, they weren't going to be able to deal with the pressure we put on in the second half. But we, we got to learn from the first half. We got to come out better. Um, we got to play like the second half for 90 minutes. With the things that you guys did that you may have seen as positives before you finally kind of knocked the door down, with just with how many chances that you guys kind of had early on? And yeah, I, th I think, in, you know, despite not playing maybe our level the first half, we still, uh, you know, I still think we, we stayed focused in the back, right? Didn't give away many good chances at all. Um, you know, we still had some moments in the first half. I just think we could have done a lot better. But, uh, you know, that's some. You know, as you go through, you know, sometimes winning streaks can relax you. And I, I think, you know, we just had a little bit of a moment of relaxation today that we got to fix. Uh, so what did you just kind of see in terms of your offensive flow and just what you guys were able to do? Or yeah, what um, you need to do? I think we were, we were like Jarvis here a bit, um, like the days ago in the first half. And we couldn't really put it together. We were kind of all around the outside and not really trying to get in good spots. And when we changed in the second half and um, some good pressing, we, we got a penalty, we scored that, Sky got a goal, and, and I think it's just one of those games where we, where the weather was atrocious and we just got to win and we just move on, that's it. Playing here, this isn't you know, unheard of weather. Did, does it make it tougher though, playing in this? Well, I think what's tough is uh, you know, just the constant rain. Um, the field kind of stays pretty fast. We like it fast, but I think it, you know, when you get it like this, then it, it kind of becomes even softer on top. So I think you saw some more slippage, you know, with the footing than normal. Um, but, you know, it's not just the, you know, I think the fast surface is just in the cold rain, just not always enjoyable to stay focused on. Stuart, uh, I talked to you earlier in the week and you mentioned about uh, your confidence and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it really seems like you're zoning in now which this late in the season, I think that's probably a good thing for the team. Uh, how, how are you feeling up there? Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling confident. Every, every game I go into, uh, ever since um, maybe a couple, two or three games ago, I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to score every game. I feel like uh, it's, it's uh, odd if I don't score, so I'm, I'm in a good mindset. And uh, um, yeah, I just need to keep that up, I think. 
during the end of the season. Where, where do you think you guys are right now, maybe compared to where you where you want to be? Are, are, are you are you right where you want to be, and do you feel comfortable right now? You know, I think we're pretty close. You know, we I think have some games we want back. I think those games that we dropped made us you know a little bit stronger. Um, made us a little bit more prepared to do what we want to do at the end of the year and win championships. And, uh, you, you know, I think we're pretty close. I think we're playing well. Um, if we can stay focused, stay hungry, you know, I think you see with the recent performances, teams have really, you know, struggled to play a good game against us and, and threaten us for long periods. And we've been close to looking like we can blow teams out more than it being a game. And, that, that's where we want to be. Where, what we're unhappy with is just a couple games that we let get away from us that, uh, you know, maybe put us in more a spot we don't want to win, especially in conference. But I think if we went out, we have a shot at a top eight seed probably and, you know, potentially top four, which is most important to us right now.